Uh, this is a little quote question uh, 802. Find eventual safe status. This is a medium question. Let's get into it. In our direct graph, we start at some node and every turn. Work all on all directed edge of the graph. If we reach a node that is terminal, uh, that means outgoing is zero. We stop. Now say our starting node is eventually say and if and only if we must eventually work to the terminal load. More especially, there exists a natural number k so that for any choice of where to work, we must have stop at the terminal load in less than k step. That means if the when uh, the sum node and then when you're starting going somewhere but it is going back this one is the unlimited loop. In this type, this one step is the unlimited. So it is. In this case, we say this one is unsafe. That means so safe is the uh, the node, the start node. It did not has any circle. So this question is to find the circle. So if the that circle is uh, the circle, and then I will get rid of them from two output and then only the node that has not circle I will return. Okay, in this time I will use the coloring technique with the DFS. So first I will uh, I will choose the three color. The first is not BGD, second is BGD, mean is the save, uh, uh, temporarily save and then uh, last is unsafe. That means is the it has circle. Okay, let's implement the code. <coughs> First, I will make the array name is color, and it has initial is zero and uh, length is same as length of graph because length of graph is the same as uh, node number of node. Right. And then next, mm -hmm, I will iteration same as graph. And then if I will make DFS and the DFS return, it will check uh, not only the uh, the children of each node is safe or not, circled or not, but also it also updated to the color. So if I is return true means if this node is safe and then I will append output I and then finally I return output. Okay, it's time to make DFS receive index first. I will check if color is already deleted and then it's time to checking. Uh, that this one is safe or not because we able to check it, right? So if um, color i is uh, not digited, so uh, uh, that is digited, uh, so it is time I will return color i is if this one is 1, I will return true or 2, I will return first. Okay, color 0 is not digited, 1 is digited, 2 is circle. So in this case, potentially safe, and then this one is not safe. And then, uh, now I'm going to check the my children is uh, node is safe or not. So first I will check current let initialize if this one is unsafe. So check, let's say that this one is unsafe and then I will do, I will uh, traverse uh, with the graph. So the neighbor, I will get one of neighbor from graph the i. In this case, let if it's we start with zero, this is the uh, node zero and then this one is the neighbor of node zero. So zero one, zero two, one. 0, 2, 0, 2, 2. So we need to traverse this one. And if uh, D 
dfs n is true that means if not true i will return first that means one of my children is not safe that means i also not safe does this make sense so now if after checking all of my children all is the safe and then at that time i can say i also safe so return to does this make sense also okay let's check with the complexity time complexity let's say v is number of vertex and then e is a uh, number of edge in this time we traverse all of vertex one by one so time complexity is big o v and then when you do dfs we use same amount of edge so we able to say v plus e and then space complexity is we use the color right so we can say this one is v Thank you.